Bell Johnson. We're ready to play ball. First pitch, it misses away, and we're underway. Darren Sutton, Stephen Nelson, Danny Wexman with you here on MLB.com for the second annual States Play Tournament presented by Major League Baseball and USA Baseball. So the starting pitcher for Florida, Carlos Rodriguez. And he gets a swing and miss for strike number one. What do we... What are, we, what are we dealing with here with Rodriguez? Derek? You could see the liveliness right there, the good sink, the 11 to 5 curveball. It's got some depth to it. He loved watching the late Jose Fernandez pitch and still goes back and watches his clips, but there's a lot of movement on that fastball. 1 1 skied high into center field. And with that, we get into the defensive alignment for Team Florida. Enrique Bradfield Jr. Here's Roman center field. He's flanked by Brandon Fields and Anthony Shaver and left and right respectively. TJ Kurd, Jordan Carrion, Yohandi Morales, Sammy Infante around the diamond. Carlos Rodriguez and Carlos Perez, the battery mate, with Caleb Pendleton as the designated hitter. It is breezy here at Marlins Park, just for the folks at home. So an element to keep an eye on. is low and inside. We're even at one and one. Here's Hudson Sapp. He's an old Miss pledge. We did play for Mike Bianco and the Rebels. Dwayne County High School. Swings and misses at the one one. He's got some pop. And that's why that changeup was so effective. You know, when you talk to Rodriguez, he loves his slider. That's his favorite secondary pitch, but Really, when you look at a changeup left handed hitter in the box, good arm swing, really good deception. A moment ago, he went back to it one more time. Level once more, Rodriguez committed to play for Coach Gino Damari at the University of Miami. A bunch of future Canes on the Team Florida roster. We'll get into them as the game progresses here. Rodriguez elevates the 2 2. And we're full. And it's easy. You can see how easy it is there. It's a lower arm angle. They may move that arm angle up just a little bit to create even more depth in college. But the body's not flying everywhere. You don't see the head and neck opening up early. That's easy velocity from that arm angle. Hanging things off. And he swing at it. Ball got away, so Sap takes off for first. And he's going to reach. It did look like the third base umpire ruled he did swing at it. So he reach on a swinging strikeout. This is actually a great effort by Carlos Perez. This is a hammer slider. You see fastball in, but it's not. It just disappears below the knees, and he knew it. This is the wise decision. He knew he clearly went around. I'm impressed that Perez even made it close. So one aboard for Alec Boychuk, the catcher for Team Georgia, one of the best catching prospects in the high school ranks. This kid can hit. Also does his job well defensively. You can see the exit velocity, a very quick swing. And that's what you're talking about, the defense behind home play. Makes his pitchers better, really prides himself. We'll stay a catcher. There are a lot of times at this age where the bat plays, right? Yeah. And heck, that doesn't change even in the big leagues. but. A lot of these young catchers may be moved to a corner outfield spot. Not this man. Not this man at all. Boy Chuck from Mill Creek High School. Next, that one foul. He is a South Carolina Gamecock commit. Ton of college commitments. We'll deliver those as they pop up through the lineup. And you find yourself more surprised and kind of excited for the non commit. Yeah. Almost as if it's a big time free agent. Where's no, he going to no end up? No doubt, because you know there's going to be interest. They wouldn't be here if they couldn't play ball. Now it's, where are they going to go to the next level? Play out soon enough. Runner going. And the throw bounces into center field. So, sap into scoring position. You know when you have a pitcher that believes in a snapdragon breaking ball that running is always a good idea. Watch that head. That's a straight steal. Never looked in the entire time. 
Again, a pretty nice effort from behind the play for Carlos Perez. Throw skipped in there, but he worked on a slider into the dirt. Nice movement behind home plate right away. Some good confidence there. See how Rodriguez attacks Boychuk. This 2 2 here in the first. Had him thinking about that slider. So back to back strikeouts. <laughs> Coming from that low three-quarter arm angle and just a little bit of wrist tilt one way or another. You can turn it into an elevated fastball or a sinker in one fell swoop. So now Kell High School product, Brad Grinkowski. Cleaning things up for Georgia. Whoa. Whoa. All right, Carlos Rodriguez, take it easy with that stuff. Now that's different. Uh, yeah. We've seen slider, slider. That was slower. Curveball. Mm -hmm. That was disgusting. Oh, one now to Grinkowski. Oh, and two quickly. I mean, this thing, this stuff moves. So you're seeing up to 95, and then you're seeing ability to change speeds on his breaking ball. 74, 77, harder slider up to 82. Rodriguez listed a shade under six feet. 5'11", 180. The Miami Christian High School showing off his stuff in the early going to the state's play tournament. Quickly had 0-2 and buckles the knees of Grinkowski. 